You go again? So, oops, wrong way. Wrong way. That's okay. So what you're saying is you took my oil lift product and you actually uh, put it on polluted plants and it remediated the soil. Yes. I mean, that's really cool. Hi, my name's uh, Kevin Dom. I'm the founder of Save the Oceans, and we make green cleaners and help stop oil pollution. And I just discovered a big study was done at Trinity Western University on my products and by Yancina Donald. And I'm going to let her take over and explain. The results are pretty amazing. Hi. I was doing an ecology project, and I found that I designed one. It was called The Effects of Used Engine Oil and Oil Spill Treatments on Plant Growth and Germination. Now in my research, I just really wanted to find out how oil affects plant growth. And I also wanted to find out how, if there was any products that could decrease the negative effects of oil on plants. I came across this product called Oil Lift. And it was already actually in my cupboard. And what happened was I thought, okay, I want to, I already use these on a regular basis, but I want to find out if they actually work in the real world, apart from just a spill on clothes or a spill on the, on my driveway. And what I found out after designing this study was that it actually does. What I did was I took a four control, four experimental groups. And one was just a control group, one was just oil, and the other ones were oils with one oil lift, and two Kevin's other product called Flubber Dust. And the end, what I found out was that yes, indeed, it actually does decrease the negative effects of oils. And this is to me pretty exciting, Kevin, because this shows that oil lift can actually make a difference. Can I enter up there? So what you're saying is you had four groups of plants. One group, you didn't put any oil pollution. The other group, you nuked the plants. And then the other two groups, you put oil, but you added oil lift and flubber dust. And the end result was the oil polluted plants, they died, but the, the non-polluted and then treated ones, they actually grew. Absolutely. That's cool. I wouldn't say that, well, they were on the way to dying. Now, what I did was I measured the daily plant growth. I also took care of plant, plant parameters such as the diameter at the base, how many leaves were growing, if there was any chlorosis. I kept track of what was going on with each of the different groups, and then I applied statistical analysis to make sure that I was doing this at an experimental level, at a high-grade experimental level. And sure enough, what I found was that, yes, there was negative effects with oil, but that oil lift managed to decrease all of these negative effects so that actually the control group was growing at the same rate as the oil lift and oil group. Yeah, that's really cool because we, we've made product claims. We know our product will help the remediation, but we didn't have hard data. And the, the important part for us is the hard data, an environmental protection officer out there has to make a call, you know, so they got 10 gallons of oil and soil. Do they clean that up and spend $20,000, which nobody's going to do, or do you spray something down and help nature go along? Now we have hard proof so people can make real decisions in the field. That's what I find really exciting about this data. And by the way, if, if you don't mind, I'll put it up on the website so people can download it. Sure, that sounds great because what they're going to find is a lot of scientific references and a lot of scientific proof. Some of these references that I found when I was doing my research actually showed that a city of 5 million, a city of 5 million does one tanker drip by drip. So an entire tanker full of oil gets spilled into our oceans one drip at a time in our own driveways. Everybody is so concerned about tankers. However, if we are able to come across a product that can help alleviate or negate some of the negative effects that this occurs on plants and then of course in runoff into our oceans, perhaps we could save our, drive our oceans one driveway at a time. Yeah, essentially. Yeah. We, we dump, by the way, 100 Exxon Valdez spills every year just in the Canada and the U.S. alone, and that all goes down and kills the aquatic world. So we have to intervene in the right way, and now basically we've given everybody the ability to do so. So thanks for doing the study. This is really... Uh, this is really amazing. It was my pleasure. Actually, I might add something else. My professor, Dr. David Clements, has suggested to his future students, he's, 
he's going to suggest that they do some more studies on oil lift and other plant growth parameters just to make sure that we are attacking this from all angles. This is going to be essential information for our saving our planets and saving our oceans. That's great. That's great. I can't wait to see what happens next year. Cool. I'll all try right. and keep you posted. Okay. Good. Okay. I think that's